Hello and welcome to another Resolve grading tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a grade tutorial based on the Joker starring Joaquin Phoenix. Um, so I've got a wide shot here of a man standing in Piccadilly Circus and we're going to try and blend this shot into the world of Gotham City in the 1970s, 1980s. I've gone ahead and grabbed a screenshot of the film and using this as a reference, let's get into it. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and balance my shot. And add some saturation. Okay, I'm gonna add myself a new node with Alt S. And let's start to build our look. So if we go over to our screenshot, you can see over here in the scopes that our highlights are sort of sitting around the 750 mark. The colorist and DP have gone with a slightly subdued yellow green look. Let's go ahead and first of all, we'll just uh, get these highlights into a better place. So we'll track them around the 750 mark and we'll go ahead and bring the gain down. Right, lift the highlights up a little bit. Okay, that puts us in an okay place. Um, we'll go ahead and add a new node and add some yellow green to the highlights here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that's looking okay to balance out these midtones and to keep the shadows uncontaminated. Let's go ahead and counterbalance that. Okay, so that's starting to look a little bit purple, a bit more yellow green. Okay, so feels a little bit purple on the midtones and shadows, so I'll just drag this a little bit more towards green and blue. Okay, so there's two things we're going to do. First of all, I'll just go ahead and add a shape on our actor's face. There we go. So you can see that is really nice, and we'll go ahead and track this. Okay, so that's good. Again, I'm still feeling that the shadows here, are, they feel crunchier, they feel like they've got more substance. Here they're still feeling and looking a little bit flat, so I'm going to go back to our contrast layer, and we're just going to bring my contrast up a little bit more, maybe bringing my pivot down just a touch. Again, I might just want to tweak up the midtones. And I could go ahead and just make this mask a little bit bigger. Okay, now the one thing that is drawing my eye now is that um, these buildings on the right and the left um, have a lot of sunlight bouncing off them. This wall feels a lot darker, it feels like a little bit of a vignette going on. See the shadows are rolling off here and there's darker material on the sides which helps draw the eye. But we can recreate that with a simple circle shape. <laughs> it's less good, but it's okay. So we're going to go ahead, bring in a really nice simple gradient. I just want to deset this a little. Okay. So I'm going to hit Alt D to bypass all of my grades. So I'm going to go ahead now and re-enable them with Control D and we can talk through what we did. So first of all, we did our basic balance, added some saturation and some lift, gain and gamma. Then we went ahead and we built our look. So this was um, a contrast adjustment and a um, color adjustment to get us into that yellow green world. Okay. With that, our actor's skin tones on the face started to lose a little bit of detail and the buildings on the right and left hand side were drawing the eye a bit too much. So we went ahead and created some shapes just to alleviate those two points. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial. If you enjoyed these videos, you might want to consider heading over to my Patreon and suggesting what film I do next. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.